Hi folks, it's me, Brandon Johnson, and I'm the host of most every one of the videos here on our channel, which is Use Boats TV. Now, the purpose of this channel is to provide boat information. Now, if you're here looking at boats that we have for sale, great, I'd be happy to sell it to you. However, that's not necessarily the sole purpose of this channel. The sole purpose of this channel is to provide boat information, like how-to videos, um, how to tie ropes, how to dock boats, you know, how to troubleshoot this, that, or the other. So, that being said, we're also creating an online database full of used boat specs. They're creating no more publications in regards to used boat information. So the more boats that I put on here, the more information we'll all have to look back to one day. So if I provide you any value whatsoever, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, or share this video with your friends and family. So from my family to yours, thank you for the opportunity, and let's look at some boats. What it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we're golden, baby, we're golden. I'm going to give you three reasons to buy this boat. Number one, they're built in Knoxville, Tennessee. So unlike boats that are made overseas, these are built right here in America. Number two, this Sea Ray 250 SLX is the only boat ever made that is specifically one foot six inches longer than its model number. Ever made. Number three, SLX is an acronym for sh Shelf Life Extender for your marriage. Did you know that 50% of all marriages end in divorce? So I can personally assure you, if you buy this 250 Sierra SLX and stay married forever, you'll never get divorced. So why shouldn't you buy this Sierra 250 SLX? I don't know. Maybe ride, quality, and resale just aren't important to you. This is an absolute magnificent Sierra 250 SLX. It's a 2009. It's got the titanium gel coat, captain's call exhaust, black boot stripe. It's got shore power, VHF ship to shore radio. It's got the stainless steel rub rail with the black insert, stainless steel docking light housings, remote spotlight, nice sharp deep hull, stainless steel bow scuff plate. That was the starboard side, now onto the port. I've yet to find a scratch in it on the exterior. Beautiful belayed blower vent covers. Enormous molded on swim platform with diamond plated skid proof. There she is. Let's go take a harder look inside. Oh yeah. As we board this Sea Ray 250 SLX, it does have the Bravo 3 drive, counter rotating propellers with trim tabs. The skid proof back here is all diamond plate. It's a non skid surface, it's not hard on your feet. It even has the raised tow edge. So if you're helping the kids get on a tube back here, kind of know where you are so you don't fall. It's got the transom shower, flag holder. Now, I personally love U shaped seating like this with a center walkthrough. Why? It balances the weight. If someone were to fall going into the boat, they also fall on a pad. Now this whole back pad fills in, as well as the back seat. All the cushions are here. It's also got bow filler cushions. So the vinyl's in great shape. I found a few little nicks right there. But that's it. This does have the factory upgraded Polk stereo system. It's got the turnable wake racks. This arch has a nice bimini built into it. It's got the cockpit refrigerator, but you can also tow from it. Now this is the last year for the tower that everybody likes, which is this one. After this, they came out with that real puny one that no one really cares for. It just looks kind of dinky. Very beautiful finish to the helm. It's got GPS, it's got smart tow for water sports. It's got transom remote. Helm remote, VHF ship to shore radio. If you don't like it, we can pull that antenna off out there. It does have the digital throttle and shift. Bow and cockpit snap-on covers, which is a, in a huge compartment located in the floor right here. Comes with all your original owner's manuals. When I show these boats, I always make mention of how finished they are. There's not hardly any exposed fiberglass. That's a speaker cover, the gray portion there with the grab handle, gunnel storage, but you see how beautifully detailed the boat is. So this is the 50th anniversary model. 
right here we got our CD stereo storage in the helm box ski mirror if you just saw me you'll notice yes I am losing weight not that you care <laughs> so, this is the bow block door just slams shut in here I kind of threw the cooler the table it does have shore power which is nice so you can keep your battery charger and refrigerator going coming up into the bow it's nice and deep up here so if the kids want to come up here set on their knees by golly they sure can vinyls in great shape again the combing panels which are these side cushions are very thick that's why it's like a floating pillow literally and again this all fills in to make a big bed a lot of customers really love the nice wide backrest so there's the boat. I hope you're as impressed with it as I am. We're going to take a look at the motor. It's only got 200 hours. Very hard to find one loaded up this well. On to the next clip. And this is our motor, 377 Mag MPI, 320 horse, 6.2 liter. Looking down in here, we got our battery chargers. The build's nice. Build a little bit. Battery charger. The bilge is nice and clean. It's finished fiberglass because this is a line boat. You can see your captain's call exhaust. A line boat means above the hull, we actually have a whole nother liner. That helps for rigidity, helps keep the boat quiet, and it's also why it's fully finished everywhere versus boards and glued in carpet. Well, thank you for checking her out with me. My name's Brandon. I approved this message. That was just so cheesy. Bottles, pop it, bottles. <laughs>